past weeks, reports from Europe and North America have described a small number of children being admitted to intensive care units with a multi-system inflammatory condition with some features similar to Kawasaki's disease and toxic shock syndrome. Initial reports hypothesize that this syndrome may be related to COVID-19. It's critical to urgently and carefully characterize this clinical syndrome to understand causality and to describe treatment interventions. I call on all clinicians worldwide to work with your national authorities and WHO to be on the alert and better understand this syndrome in children. And it's a very rare condition um, which is causing an inflammatory disease uh, in, in young children. Uh, we're getting a description of what this looks like, which is not always the same. And in some children, they've tested positive for COVID-19, but other children have not. What it most likely represents is a rare syndrome that may be associated with COVID-19 that we can observe when we have so many cases around the world. And I think that's important. It's very important we pursue it. It's very important we understand it. But it's also very important that parents and children understand that, uh, that this is not reflecting a fundamental change in the way this virus infects children. Kabayan, like and follow my FB page, J3RK. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Joey kasi. Thank you, Kabayan. Thanks for watching.